Welcome to Grace and Truth for today. It's Tuesday, April the 28th. Uh, we're spending our time together this week in 1 Corinthians chapter number 13. And we're talking about uh, love and its importance in our lives. And I've uh, committed myself to trying to uh, shoot these videos uh, in front of locations or places that I love. And of course, you can see our city uh, in the background. Uh, Cleveland, Ohio is a, North, a lifelong Northeast Ohioan. We have a passion certainly for our community and are thankful for what uh, happens here and its role in our lives. In 1 Corinthians chapter number 13, beginning in verse number 1, the Bible says, Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not charity, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains and have not charity, I am nothing. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. Now the Bible seems to indicate in this passage of scripture that love is better. Uh, Paul was writing to the church at Corinth and he was talking about the spiritual gifts in chapter number 12. And he continues that conversation in chapter number 13. And he seems to indicate that love is better than even the spiritual gifts that you and I were blessed with upon our salvation. And notice there's four specific things that Paul says love is better than in these first three verses. And number one, I want you to notice that Paul says love is better than impressive displays of verbal acumen. Now, love is better than impressive displays of verbal acumen. The Bible says in verse number one, though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels. Now, Paul references the gift of tongues here in verse number one. In the church at Corinth, they held in high regard of those with the ability to speak in tongues. In fact, you'll discover that in chapter 14, the very next chapter after chapter 13 where we're reading here today, uh, Paul would talk about the gift of tongues and its use in the local church at that point in time. And of course, we as dispensationalists believe that this gift is no longer uh, in use today. But it certainly was something that was prevalent at that time. And uh, the church at Corinth was enamored with it. Uh, they were taken with the ability to speak in tongues. And yet Paul says here uh, that love is better uh, than the gift of tongues and the ability uh, to display an impressive verbal acumen, to be able to speak in a tongue that maybe you'd never been able to speak in before or a language uh, that you did not have uh, training in, uh, that was not your native tongue, to be able to speak that way. Paul says love is better. He says if, if I can do those things, speak with the tongue of men and of angels, and yet I don't have love. I don't have charity. He says, it profiteth me nothing. I want you to notice, not only is love better than impressive displays of verbal, verbal acumen, but notice, second, love is better than impressive displays of wisdom and knowledge. He goes on to say in verse number two, and though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge. I've met a lot of really smart people in my life. A brilliant mind certainly is an incredible thing, but it is a rare thing, most of us, if we're really honest with ourselves, we would recognize and understand that we uh, probably are not as smart as we'd like to think we are. Uh, most of us aren't brilliant. We're not gifted in that way. But can I say that you and I can be better than brilliant? Uh, we can be better than extremely knowledgeable if we will simply act with love, show love, Christian kindness and charity. We can make a greater impact even than those who are blessed with knowledge even knowledge, uh, great knowledge of the Bible. Uh, without love, the Bible says, it profiteth us, us nothing. Uh, there's a third element that we see here that love is better than. Notice love is better than impressive displays of miraculous power. He goes on to say in verse number two, and, and, and though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, though I have all faith so that I could remove mountains, Paul says, according to the mind of God, a miracle takes a back seat to, to those who, who have a heart that is full of love, uh, that, that love is even more powerful, that it's even greater than miraculous power and ability that sometimes we all wish we had. I wish that I could uh, cause a miracle to happen and cure the coronavirus. I don't have that ability, but here's what I can do. I can show love. Uh, I can show godly love uh, to people who are hurting and who are struggling. And according to the Bible, listen, that's even better. Love is better. Notice there's a fourth element, and we'll finish here today. Love is better than impressive displays of financial and material generosity. 
Verse 3 says, And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burned and have not charity, it profiteth me nothing. You know, it is possible to give without loving. You know that, don't you? I've given things to people. I've given gifts to people that I maybe didn't really love them. Maybe I was just trying to get rid of them. Sure, here, you can have what little money I have in my pocket or in my wallet. It is possible to give without loving, but it is not possible to love without giving. But the Bible is clear about that. For God so loved the world that he gave. All, can I say this? That all the money in the world cannot make up for a lack of love. Uh, it, it is better. Listen, love is better than gifts. It's better than sacrifices. The Bible teaches that. To obey is better than sacrifice. To hearken than the fat of rams. And so listen, love, love is better. It is better than financial and material generosity. Well, I've seen some incredible displays of financial and material generosity here in recent days, even out of our church family. But can I tell you, some of you sitting here saying, I don't have a lot of money that I can give to meet someone's needs right now. But according to the Bible, if you'll just love, if you'll love them, if you'll pray for them, if you'll speak words of kindness to them, that is better even than if I were to give my body to be burned or to give of my material possessions and did it without love. And so may God help us in this week to focus on the love of God and to understand that it is better. It's better than impressive displays of verbal acumen. It's better than impressive displays of knowledge and wisdom. It's better than impressive displays of miraculous power. And it's better than impressive displays of financial or material generosity. Hey, listen, let's determine that we're going to show the love of Christ to people this week. May God help us to be a church that shows love to the men and women, the boys and girls, and the young people that we come in contact with during this time. Father, would you bless this thought today? May we dig deeper into 1 Corinthians chapter 13 and ask that your Holy Spirit of God teach us some things from your word. We pray these things and we ask them in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, thanks again for tuning in. Uh, let me encourage you to share this with others if it's been a blessing to you. And to leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Uh, you can comment below this video, uh, wherever you may be watching it, or you can send me an email. My email address is pastor at clevelandbaptist.org. Thanks again for tuning in. Have a great day.